Welcome back everyone to another Delivered Review this week. I know, back to McDonald's, but they've got new items out. So the hat trick burger for the Euros and mozzarella bites and the Skittles McFlurry plus I think a sharing box. So let's see what it's like and let's get it reviewed. So, as you saw there, Euro 2024, 2024 already. Anyway, line up. Um, so, obviously, pause that, have a look. And yeah, they've released this new burger, the Hat Trick Burger, which is essentially a triple cheeseburger, but just on the scale of a quarter pounder uh, or double quarter pounder of cheese, but this being a triple quarter pounder of cheese in a sense. They're not quite the same size as the quarter pounder burgers, but they're not a million miles off. And to start with, as you can see the bun there, it wasn't a bad looking burger to be fair. And like, I absolutely love the triple cheeseburger or double cheeseburger. The single cheeseburger is essentially just a waste of time. Uh, there's more bun than there is burger. But um, yeah, again, a lot of people have already reviewed this and absolutely slated it. And I can't say 100% that it's like out of this world. Um, the Philly cheese steak burger that we did ages ago, I think it was on the Halloween video. That was really nice with the extra cheese and the sauce and everything else, which they probably could just should have, could have added to this. But anyway, first of all, as you all know, if you don't, the fries, they weren't particularly nice this week. They were kind of like a dry, I mean, like they're just literally snapped in half, which is not crispy. It was just dry. So I think the fries have just been left out or something. I don't know what it's up with. It's like, it must just be the people that are, are doing the... Um, cooking the serving and everything else it's just the human side of it you know because the, the actual product itself is fine usually so on to the mozzarella bites and i'd say i don't think they've done these before um as opposed to sticks these are probably they could do with being a little bit bigger but they're quite nice with like a breadcrumb crust on the outside as you can see kind of like pops open um but it was a nice little chunk of mozzarella and it was still relatively gooey again the driver couldn't find the house i don't know how even though i put a note but it is what it is so they're quite nice mozzarella bites but just could do with it being a little bit bigger so the hat trick burger, which basically is 100% beef patties, two slices of cheese, grilled onions, mustard ketchup, all in a glazed sesame seed bun from their website. And as you all know, or probably don't, but if you don't, you will in a second, I don't like raw onions. And I know I should be trying them because I'm reviewing food, but if it takes over everything and you can't taste it, then I can't see the point of it. But in this case, it was grilled onions. So I thought, well, I've seen a few reviews and they do look pretty... Uh, what's the caramelised kind of onions? Although, as you can see there, those really weren't. So again, it's whoever's cooking it, I would imagine. But the burger itself, as you can see, a little bit messy, McDonald's style, you know, never changes. Um, but the three burgers with the cheese was nice. It was just a, a bigger, like on steroids, triple cheeseburger. The bun itself, I think they should do more for other burgers as well, because the burger was, uh, the bun was holding up better to the burger in terms of it not breaking apart. So with the glaze on the top. And I think this is kind of McDonald's new revised um, burger buns anyway. So they've kind of gone for a bit more of a, uh, what's the word, gourmet sort of looking buns, if you, if you have a look on the website. But however, going back to the onions, they were quite nice, like, you know, kind of like hot dog onions, you know, glazed, uh, caramelised, but got that kind of glaze to them, which obviously is like the bun as well. Um, they, were, they weren't bad and you, they didn't kind of take over everything, so maybe I'm kind of converting a bit with onions. Overall, the burger, though, just a triple cheeseburger. That, that was about it. The Skittles McFlurry, though, as you can see there, although it was slightly melted because of the delivery delay, um, was a bit weird. Like, you got so much sugar, so much kind of... The, the Skittles, if everybody's had Skittles, which I'm sure people have, if you haven't, grab a bag of Skittles. But it was, like, almost sickly, if you know what I mean? Like, there was too much. There was a sauce that was nice, but it was kind of all at the bottom of the... Um, the ice cream which again if it wasn't melted and then also at the bottom would be different but it was almost like too much and the kind of fruity flavor of skittles came through quite well but ultimately i think it kind of took over a bit too far so 
nice new items. I'm not going to knock them, but I'm not giving them a, a you know a high rating ultimately because it, it's still McDonald's. So as you can see there, ultimately, or we'll see in a second, the burger itself. 8 out of 10 because it was a nice triple cheese burger, 6.5 fries, 8 out of 10 mozzarella and 6.5 thermoflurry. Thanks for watching and on to the next one next week.